In 2007, the doors to the Palmer Lake Brewery closed. When they reopened six months ago, the brew pub had a trendy new look and a new owner, Lawrence Johnson. I've been an executive chef and general manager for about 34 years. It was time to step out and do my own thing. I think I found a place that you know, provides just that environment that I, I want to have. We have one of the most unique restaurants that there is in the area. The warehouse boasts dark woods, exposed brick walls, and copper. It all comes together to create a very comfortable setting. What I like a lot here is the, uh, the unhurried pace. You know, so much you go into the, your larger chains and even some other independent restaurants. You know, it's about eating and getting out. Here people, you, know, you can just see them let everything go. They sit back, they have a great time. The paintings on the walls, not the only art in the warehouse. We really want to look at the artistic part of the food along with the flavors. In the kitchen, you can see the tummy tempting art take shape. Take this cubist macadamia crab dish, for example, called a small plate, not an appetizer. It's a feast for the eyes and the taste buds. The presentation is full of different colors and shapes. It's really neat watching our guests. When the food comes to the table, uh, they look at their plate, but then they also look all around. They have the table and see what everyone else is having, and they're comparing and remarking throughout the meal. Also worth checking out, two other meals on the menu, pancetta sea scallops with red pepper jus, and sure to be a favorite. This is a nice light dish. It's really great for summertime. Drunken mussel shrimp linguine. And a little bit of fresh lime juice. We're trying to get some of the flavors of margarita. Chef Johnson tops off the dish with some fresh pesto. Pair it up with your favorite wine and you're good to go. The warehouse has 85 different wines available and some great beers on tap. While this old brewery isn't pumping out any beer right now, don't rule it out in the future. Uh, I still own the brewing equipment. I'm not sure if we're going to brew in the future or not. Uh, it's there, possibility exists, but we're going to have to see how it really plays out. One of the deciding factors Johnson says is going to be just how well the South Side revitalization goes. He admits opening up a restaurant in this location was a real risk. Um, this one's in pretty raw, rough state right now, but I'm really you know, looking forward to what I can do in the next 10 or 15 years here. Even with a private dining room and massive art gallery that seats up to 200, there is one more thing Johnson would like to add. If I could just add a reading room here and have some really fine books, I'd have it all wrapped up. With its colorful art and contemporary Colorado cuisine, the warehouse certainly has something for everyone.